All right. Hey, I'm Steve Johnson with LSI. I work in our CTO office as a technologist. What we're showing here is a full rack scale demonstration of 12 gig SAS. Everything connected through a new 12 gig SAS switch. Uh, this is a prototype demonstration, not a product yet. So what we have here are 20 servers connected to 10 JBODs. They're all running 12 gig SAS connected to a prototype 12 gig SAS switch. The SAS switch is a 40 port by four SAS switch. So it's effectively 160 gigabytes of throughput. And that's connected uh, with by eights to each one of these JBODs and by fours to each one of the servers. Each one of the servers has a 12 gig SAS mega raid uh, controller in them, and they are connected uh, basically all to the switch and then to the switch to the JBODs. So what this shows is it shows direct attached storage with scalable SAN attributes, all right? So every server can access any drive all at the same time. That would be simultaneous access, all right? What this enables is different applications such as real-time analytics running Hadoop, where every node can access all the storage simultaneous, definitely improving performance instead of driving things over Ethernet and doing static configurations where data has to be pushed to the node. The, also, the other thing it enables things like VMware mobility because it's shared. If you have a node goes down or you want to do load balancing, all the storage is centralized and we can move the virtual disk between nodes as needed. So the, uh, this particular demonstration, what's blinking all these lights is a technology that we're working on now called D-RAID. And uh, it's a mega RAID product. And basically what it does is it takes the 220 something drives, takes one gigabyte data chunks from each drive. All right. And then from that giant pool, that giant shared pool of storage, each one of the mega raids can create virtual disks. In this particular case, we got RAID 5, RAID 6 volumes that are running. And what's nice about that is if any particular disk dies, the uh, RAID 5, RAID 6 read build times are spread out across all the nodes and all the drives. So typically a four terabyte uh, RAID 5, RAID 6 rebuild times today may take one week or two weeks, depending on what workloads are running. In this case, we can get that down to about 20 minutes. So what's really nice about RAID 5, RAID 6 is the physical capacity in relationship to the virtual capacity, which is roughly about 75% or 80%, depending on, on what you're doing. So this is a really nice setup. You get all the attributes and performance characteristics of direct attached storage, DAS storage, and you get many of the SAN attributes associated with other SANs, all right? So today, a lot of people build servers disaggregated from the storage, all right? And in that case, you gotta buy SAS cables and you connect them all up. In this case, the only thing you need to do is put a SAS switch in the middle, all right, and add a few more cables, and that gives you all these SAN capabilities, all right? So SAS is a very high performance, cost-effective type of solution uh, compared to other SANs that are out there, like InfiniBand or Fiber Channel. Very expensive. This thing is very easy to manage. It's going to be using common Mega Raid, and if you want to use the setup without Mega Raid, just standard, you know, HBA controllers, then you would have. Uh, like open compute host software such as Gluster, Ceph, Swift that you could run up here. There's uh, another demonstration over there that uh, Nebula is doing that's a small version of this doing six gig um, that kind of will show you where we're looking at driving data centers and cloud storage moving forward with this.